We are already 15 games into the league season. We're starting to hit our stride. Let's quickly zoom through the fixtures that you've missed. Second game of the season was Peter Brett away from home. We won this one 4-1. David Oru, Ruben Burgos and Alvaro Rojas with two goals. Home tie against Derby next. 1-0 win. David Oru, happy days. We then played a rotated side in the League Cup first round against Blackburn Rovers and won 5-0. Ben Beachy with a hat-trick, Rogerio Santos and Samuel Stankwo with the goals. A 2-2 draw away from home against recently relegated Everton, Samuel Stankwo and Alexi with the goals in this one. A disappointing 0-0 away draw against Blackburn Rovers, a missed penalty by Osvaldo Rojas and despite the domination, we couldn't make a count. Back to winning ways with a 4-0 home win, Rojas, Dearly, Mezzain and Stankwo. Defeat in the League Cup second round against Premier League, Watford 3-1. We did go in front through Alexi, but second half performance, Watford took it. Disappointing nil-nil home draw this time against Luton Town again. Domination going by the match stats. Not domination in terms of chances created though. Next up was Wigan away from home 2 nil. Alexi and David Oru with the goals. Portsmouth at home this time 3-1 home win. Mezian, Rojas and Oru. Hull City away from home Samuel Stangwo with the first minute goal. Next up was Leeds away from home who were having a very good season. A 2-2 draw was a decent result. Burgos on Fontana with the goals in this one. 2-0 at home against Swansea, Mezzin and Stanko. 1-0 home win against Sunderland, Terence Platt with the only goal of the game. 3-0 away from home against QBR, own goal, Benassar and Oru. And finally, was a 1-1 away draw against Bristol City, in which we should have been beat. They were very dominant. Prince Henri was a player we were interested in in the summer. He got a late equaliser for them. So yes, we are unbeaten since the start of the season, but we do sit in second. Leeds are sitting top having won more games than us, but we do have a game in hand which could see us rise to the top of the table. In terms of today's episode then, it's going to be Stoke and Brentford. Both home ties will pick the Stoke game, particularly because they are third in the league. And Brentford, of course, win the playoffs last season, so they should provide a decent challenge. Now, every manager has their own formation and tactic that they seem to take to most clubs and stick to the same sort of system. And... I have switched back to a standard standard system that we used at Barnsley in Birmingham. Um, I just couldn't, I wasn't feeling comfortable in the other system. I felt like, particularly with the strike, I wasn't getting the best out of them. So hopefully reverting back to something like this will get the best out of our attack and talent and can see us win this league. In terms of today's lineup for the first game, then Joel Pereira in goal, Burgos, Santos, Voicin and Daly in the defence. Benassar and Rojas in the centre of midfield. Platt on the right-hand side, Stango in the centre, Coranda, no, it's not Coranda, Coronado comes in as Mezzain is currently injured for five weeks and Oru, of course, starts up top. Uh, Alexi could be starting more games and he probably should. He's got three caps for Finland now. Um, he's, pre he's performing quite nicely when he gets the game time and he's definitely improving. But um, we haven't got a spot for him today. He will probably come on at some point though. So Stoke City provide a pretty major challenge. They've been in the uh, championship for quite a while now. And I know Pietro Rovaglia has been uh, near enough the top scorer in most seasons they've been in the league. So it's going to be a difficult challenge. But um, Jamal Blackman's in goal. Of course, our former man. Let's get a kick off and see how we get on. First highlight of the game comes eight minutes in. Stoke have possession in their own half, but they give the ball away and Platt can pounce on it. He's holding it up well and finds Daly on the left-hand side who's running into our own man. Come on, lads, get out of each other's way. Platt's their back post and he hits the bar. Second highlight, 11 minutes in. It's a goal kick for Stoke who is going to retain possession here. It looks like it's going to be us. Big kick up by our keeper. It falls to Platt. It does fall to Platt on this right-hand side. He's bombing down the wing. He's going to cut in. He's not. He's using his weaker foot. It comes out to uh, Stoke and they are going to counter Zamahal bringing the ball forward through the centre of the park. Rojas with a great challenge, but it finds its way to Perry Jones on this left-hand side for Stoke. Back to Slatter. They've got loads of men forward. Plenty of options on the right-hand side. They find Zamahal. Stoke, go 1-0 up. Oh, not a great start. His sixth goal of the season. Zamahal. And um, disappointing. Disappointing way to concede that. I thought it was going to be our attack. But uh, counter-attack by Stoke. And we go 1-0 down corner for us Rojas is the man to take it oh comes to Oru and he hits the bar from close range there's been so many games where we've dominated and just not able to score um is this going to be another one and that is it for the first half Stoke take the lead going into the second 
we might need to make uh, some changes in the second half if things don't improve quickly. 25 minutes to go in the match, absolutely nothing happening in this second half. Terence Platt can come off for Alexi on that right-hand side. We don't really have too many other options. I want to bring on Fontana. We'll bring him on for Alt Benassar in the defensive midfield role and um, see if that makes any difference. 66 minutes gone, we have ourselves the first highlight of the second half. Oru picks up the ball, driving through the centre. Don't, I mean, Jesus Christ, what was that? 17 minutes to go. Come on, boys. Don't make this your first defeat, the first live com of the season properly. Dearly, to stank with the box. He plays it in Oru, comes to Coronado. I mean, it's cleared. Luke Dearly keeps it in play, and that's the end of highlight. I'm very attacking for the final 10. Let's see if it makes any blind bit of difference. Eight minutes to go. Stoke have the ball. A long ball over the top really does kill us right now. If they are fancy playing it, but they give the ball away instead. Rojas plays out uh, Alexi on this, through the centre, not even on the right-hand side. Coronado, is he going to shoot? He's not. Well, he is, and it's blocked. The ball finds his way to Burgos on this right-hand side. It's whipped in Oru. David Oru, his seventh goal of the season, brings us back level with eight minutes to go. We'll go to an attacking team mentality from a very attacking. I'm still not very happy with the point, to be quite honest with you, at home, but it's better than a defeat. Decent bit of play from us in the centre of the park. Burgos with a good cross. Oru with a decent finish. Come on, lads. Time is ticking away. Highlight. 91 minutes in. Rojas. Ball's played in. It's cleared by Jamal Blackman. The highlights continuing though, we'll uh, see where it goes, Burgos plays the ball down the centre, Oru does well to win that, Alexi into Fontana, he plays it out wide to Burgos, he's been in an attacking outlet for us, the ball's played in, Coronado, is he offside? It doesn't look like he is, and with two minutes to go on the clock, we take the lead, complete smash and grab here, <laughs> in the final 10 minutes or so, but we find ourselves 2-1 up, it's deserved, I don't care what you say, it is deserved. Stoke don't deserve to win this game. We do, and we take the lead. You don't always get what you're deserving, football manager, but today we did. Ruben Burgos really changed things for us from right back. Two late goals, three points against third place. Fantastic. Now we've got Brentford next. I'll see you there. So we're here for the Brentford game. Only a few changes to the starting 11. Clark comes in at right back as. Oh, messed that up well and truly. As Burgos is currently suspended. Quirk comes in as Santos is suspended. Other than that, I think it's the exact same side. Let's get the kick off. 4-4-2. I don't like 4-4-2. I always feel like I struggle against 4-4-2. We'll see how this game goes. Free kick early on. <clears throat> One and a half minutes in. Oh, no it's not. Never mind. Corner for Brentford. Espinosa is the man who is going to take it. It's whipped into the back post. Ramadan Sobi nearly scored. Ivan Sonja is disallowed. He's offside. No, I need to worry. Two former men of ours there nearly combined to put us 1-0 down. We'll go to a positive team mentality and come off the attacking. The first half sort of running by us here. We've definitely come back into this game um, going by the match stats. We are going to return to an attacking mentality and see if the boys can maybe do something before half. Anything? Is there anything you want to do? No, there it is. First half over. Let's kick off for the second. This isn't going great. Alexi can come on for Terence Platt on that right-hand side. Try and freshen things up in the attack. Corner Espinosa again for Brentford. It's back post. Oh, it's a penalty. Oh, man. Jesus. Benassar is the man who takes it. Joel Pereira, please. Please do your business. I'm not even watching. Do it. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, he scored. Never mind. Ah, oh, Sumaria. Second goal of the season puts Brentford 1-0 up. Um, we are going to have to go attacking now from this point onwards. 20 minutes ago to get us back into this game again. Every game in charge of Huddersfield feels like an absolute slog. <laughs> Barnsley and Birmingham, I found the secret sauce to unlock our talents, but um, I haven't quite found it with Huddersfield just yet. Coronado to Stanko, Daly on this left-hand side. Come on, get the goal straight back. Daly whips the ball in. It's her. Oh, it's Alexi at the back post. Alexi, what a man this boy is. I really want to start him more. He's just not as good as the other players we've got. But he levels things up with his sixth goal of the season. And um, I'm not even watching the highlight. I, I just want to see if we can win this now. Ten minutes to go. We will look to make some further changes. We have nobody on the bench, really. Uh, Fontana for Benassar can come on. We'll bring on Ali as well at centre-back, who doesn't really get much game time. But um, it's not going to make much of a difference to our attacking lineup. Five minutes to go. Are we going to do it again? 
this time against Brentford instead of Stoke. Fontana picks up the ball on the edge of the area, finds Luke Daly, goes for the shot, but it comes back out to Fontana. Don't let that be the hat. Don't lose the ball. Rojas, do something special. Stanko, Coronado. Oh my God, what an absolute donkey Coronado is. That was dreadful. Good job he was offside. Corner, Rojas, 88 minutes in. It's played in, it's cleared. But uh, Ali can pick it up. Rojas plays it back in Coronado. That's a block it again. We are missing Mezzayin on this left-hand side. And that's going to be it for the game. Huddersfield 1, Brentford 1. We know Brentford are a good side, but it's a home tie. Um, we should be winning that. We, we really, really should. Um, we're drawing quite a lot of games at present. But we do still sit top of the championship table. 39 points after 17 games. Um, we've got a game in hand on Leeds as well. Everton are starting to rock back up the league. They had a bit of a shaky start. Uh, are we happy? I'm not really. <laughs> I'm not, to be honest with you. But um, we've got a good number of games to go till the next episode. It's going to be the January transfer window, so we've got that many games to go through. Um, and then we'll play through the January period. We'll see how old boys are sitting at this point. Um, obviously, this Everton game could end up being crucial. We'll see how we are going. I might even bring that as a... No, I'm not. I'm going to play through them all. January's next. I'll see you then. Listen, like, subscribe, and take it easy.